Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going through my entire lip collection and I'm trying on every single lip product I own to figure out if I want to keep it or not. So as I was doing my declutter and my makeup inventory, I realized that a lot of the lip products I had, I really didn't even know what they looked like on. A lot of them I've only just swatched on my arm, so I wanted to do this video to try on every single lip product and see how I like it. I feel like I was able to narrow down my collection quite a bit, so I did do this by category. I did liquid lipsticks, the bullet lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, and in those categories, I will break down the numbers and everything. I did film this on three separate days so I wouldn't ruin my lips by applying and taking off lipstick over and over and over. So if you wanna come with me and see all of the lip products I own and try them all on together, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, today is day one of swatching and trying on all of my lipsticks. I'm gonna start with liquid lipsticks today, just because that's my least favorite category. So I kind of just want to get this category over with and I'm pretty sure I can get rid of some of these. And for my makeup today, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Like I would call this a simple everyday look. Like So I tried to do a look that would work with many different colors. For example, like a deeper shade like this versus like a nude shade like this, you know what I mean? So I just did my makeup and I've been wearing the Sigma Lip Mask in Hush while I was doing my full face to kind of give my lips some hydration. I have some micellar water and some baby wipes handy for taking off the lipsticks. So with liquid lipsticks, I'm not going to try to be like super precise with my application. I'm not going to be like cleaning up the edges or anything because I'm really just trying to focus on the color. So I'm going to be swatching 15 liquid lipsticks. Let's get started. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start, but I feel like I just, I just need to go. I just need to go for it. I'm starting with Sigma New Mod. And this one's kind of like a mauve pink color. Oh, this is going to be so hard for me to do. I'm already doing the first one and I'm like, hmm, but I kind of like it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to get through this video. I kind of like it just because it's kind of a pinky shade I don't have a lot of. Oh boy, I'm <laughs> this is gonna be a mess, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the keep for now and I will kind of go over everything at the end of like each section of makeup. I do think it's pretty on its own because sometimes I do need to not wear a nude liquid lipstick. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tap over with my sponge to try to like neutralize my lips a little bit. This is a Sigma Suede. Kind of reminds me of like a rosy brown. Again, not trying to be perfect here. <laughs> I actually kind of like this. It kind of gives me like 90s vibes. And I like that it's not too warm. It's pretty neutral. I think I like this one. This is Sigma Corde Rosa. So this one's like a little bit peachier, a little bit warmer. I actually don't think I like this one on me. This is so hard to do. I I did not think this would be so hard. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. This is Sigma Cashmere. I actually really like this one, I think. How does it compare? See, okay. See, these are the two I've said I would keep. What is it? New Mod and Suede. And then this is Cashmere. So see how they're just all, they're so similar, but just slightly different. I actually like this one a lot. So I will keep Cashmere. This is the Sigma Cinderella Dreamy Lipstick. This one actually kind of looks like a, like a My Lips But Better shade, didn't it? This formula also feels better. It feels a little more like whipped and a little more hydrating, which is possible because I think these other four I just tried on are slightly older. And this one came out in 2021 and I definitely have had those liquid lipsticks for longer than that. Okay, wait. How long have I had those liquid lipsticks for? What's the expiration date on a liquid lipstick? 12 months. I have definitely had all four of these for way longer than 12 months. Do you see my problem here? Okay, this is why I wanted to like talk to you guys and talk this out. I wish you could help me with this question. What is happening with my lights? I don't know. But these four shades clearly had nothing wrong with them. Like there was no weird smell. Let me just double check. No, they smell fine. They applied fine. They look fine, but am I really gonna wear them? Because I haven't worn these ever. And this is what I wanna be smarter about. While I do think these shades are really pretty, I do know that liquid lipstick is my least favorite formula of lipstick. Even if I wanted something that was long wearing, I wouldn't grab for a liquid lipstick. So, <sighs> ugh. I honestly feel like I should get rid of these just because they're old. The colors are pretty, but I have not worn them in I've had these for probably at least three years. Expiration date is 12 months. I will get rid of these four shades just because they're old and I've never worn them. 
but I do really, really like this dreamy shade and I feel like it fits me really well. It is newer, so I'm happy to keep that in my collection for now. That like made me anxious, I don't know why. Okay, I do have one more Sigma liquid lipstick, which is probably an old one. So this is Dapper. Again, I know this is an old one, so I'm just gonna try on the color for shits and giggles, but I probably will get rid of it because it is way too old. Oh, I don't like this color. Yeah, this is just not something I like to wear. Okay, not keeping this one. So those were all the Sigma liquid lipsticks I have, so I'm happy to have gone through that category. So for the next three, I have these three from Makeup Forever that I just got last year, like just a couple months ago. Um, so let's pop these ones on. This is the shade Endlessly Blushed shade. I also really like the applicator of these. It actually fits like really nicely on your lip and like kind of hugs it as it's applying. Oh, they smell good too. Actually smells like a little fruity. I actually don't think I like this shade. I think it kind of washes me out a little bit. And yes, I am wearing more of a pinky blush today, but that's what I typically like to wear. Yeah, I don't think I like this color. And I should mention, I did get these three in PR. Makeup Forever sent like a full box of these new lipsticks. And I think there was maybe like 12 to 15 shades in there. So I only kept those three out of the 15. I recently gave the rest of the shades away in one of my holiday giveaways. I did like a whole lip box if someone received all of those. So even when I first got that PR package, I felt like I was being smart and trying to decide what I would keep and not keep by only keeping three out of the 12, but I already don't like one of the shades. <laughs> this one is Goji all the time. This one's actually like a kind of cool, unique color. It's kind of like a burnt orange, rusty red. I actually think I like this because I don't wear red lipstick a lot, but something like this where it's like red but not, I think is kind of fun and different. And I think it'd be fun to have a shade like this in my collection, so I am going to keep this one. I feel like this Makeup Forever ones are harder to take off. <laughs> like I'm really rubbing out my lips here for this one. And the last one I have is called Constantly on Fire. I think this is a one I wore in, I did kind of like a classic holiday makeup look tutorial. And I believe this is a one, ooh. Oh, I just like licked that. <laughs> oh gosh, what just happened? Maybe I shouldn't talk as I'm trying to put on a lipstick, Angela. It does not taste as good as it smells. I'm not gonna be perfect with applying those. I'm actually gonna keep this one. Like I said, I don't wear red lipstick very often, so I don't like to keep many reds in my collection, but I do think this is a gorgeous, just like perfect tone of red. Uh, yeah, I didn't apply it well, but I'm going to keep this one. I really only wear red either like Valentine's Day or like around Christmas time. I think red lipstick is beautiful on like everyone, but just on myself, I just feel like I scream Christmas when I wear red lips. Good news is we only have five more liquid lipsticks to try. These makeup forever ones, man, like, these are hard to take off. So the next four I have are the Kaja Love Swipes. Now these, I don't think are really called a liquid lipstick. They're more of a moussey formula. Cause in my mind, it leans more to a liquid lipstick instead of like a bullet or a gloss. Like it's not one of those things. So that's why this one is in this category, but I do really like the formula of these. I have worn all these colors. So we'll see how they kind of look one by one. This one is the shade I'm melting. One thing I don't like about their packaging though, is that I feel like the shades on the packaging don't really represent the shade inside and so I always get confused like oh which is the one that I like so anyways I think this is the one I wear the most often oh and they smell amazing they almost kind of look like a liquid lipstick that like doesn't dry down completely but like in a good way oh yeah I like this one I'm keeping it much easier to take off as well since they aren't like a complete liquid lipstick this one is soft sweetie I don't think I've worn this one a lot Definitely a little more pink, and I feel like it looks pretty similar to my lip color. I think I like this one too. Okay, Kaja. Next is Every Girl. Ooh, I feel confused by this one. I don't know. <laughs> Putting this in the maybe pile for now. At first I didn't like it. I was like, oh, this sucks. And then I kept layering up. I was like, oh, it's kind of pretty. So the last Kaja one I have is in the shade of Swipe Right. I don't think I like this one. I think it's leading a little too brown for me. Like it's a pretty color, but I don't think it's for me. I don't think I would wear this very often. So I will get rid of Swipe Right. All right, we only have two liquid lipsticks left. These are the About Face Matte Painted Lip Colors. And I just have these two. I'm already pretty sure I'm not gonna like these on their own because usually when I wear these, I do have to mix them with something else, but let's just see. This one is Ask Nicely. 
<laughs> it kind of smells a little weird to me, honestly. I don't know if it's the whole so smell like that. I, I'm not gonna continue to put it on. It smells weird and this color is atrocious. I would wear this one sometimes like mixed on top of something else, but it, just because of the smell too, I'm like, I probably shouldn't keep that. I don't know how old that one actually is. I did get that in PR. Was it 2021 maybe? It might've been 2022, I'm not sure. I wanna say 2021, so it could be expired. It's very possible. I just realized all these liquid lipsticks I'm putting on, I have received in PR, which kind of says something. Like I don't buy myself liquid lipsticks. So, so that also kind of tells me like, I know it's not my favorite product cause I don't even buy it for myself. All right, and then this one is called Sad Song. This one has the same smell. I just don't think it's supposed to smell like this, so I'm not keeping it and I'm gonna stop putting it on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna put my lip mask back on because I need it desperately. So I said I put this Kaja every girl one in my maybe pile, but because I'm getting rid of so many, I think I'm just gonna end up keeping it for now. So out of my 15 liquid lipsticks, I'm only keeping five. And I feel really good about that. Again, because it's not my favorite category and I'm really only keeping two real liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, I am back. I took a little walk with Rue. And now let's do lip oils. So I only have five lip oils, so I feel like this will be a pretty easy category to do after liquid lipsticks. So I have four here from Sigma and one from Merit. Let's do the Merit one first. This is the shade All Natural. And I mentioned in my makeup inventory that lip oils is a category I want to try more brands in. Like, I feel like they're so popular, but I haven't tried many. I actually just bought one from Makeup Revolution. It's on its way here, so. Excited to try that. I have worn this lip oil so many times, though. I haven't worn it a lot recently, but it's so pretty. I love the color of this one. I love the formula. It's like not sticky at all. It just feels like nice and smooth and hydrating. So for sure, keeping this one. All right, now let's swatch the four Sigma lip oils. I think they only have four shades, so I think this is all of them. Um, I'm gonna start with Hush, which is clearly my favorite. I have used this one a lot. I actually have two of these and I keep one um downstairs in my bathroom and I wear it to the gym that's like my gym lip oil <laughs> I love this I love the texture it actually does have like the slightest pink little tone to it but it's so pretty I love wearing it on its own or on top of like a lipstick keeping for sure this next one is the shade tranquil and I actually haven't tried this one on my lips yet so that's why I'm doing this video to actually like try it out and see if I want to keep it or not so it looks like a pretty bright pink but it is a lip oil so I'll see yeah, it's just like a really pretty pink color. I'm gonna keep it because I think this is something I could definitely put in like my shop, my stash for the spring. Like this would be a perfect spring lip oil. So I'm gonna keep it for now. Next we have the shade All Heart. And I do like this color a lot. I already know that. I love how it's like a little more muted, like compared to this one was like a pretty bright color. This one's just soft and pretty. I like this one. All right, and the last one I have is in Tint. I actually don't think I've put this one on my lips before either. I do have the lip mask in this shade that I've used many times before, but just not the lip oil. So does it really look that much different compared to All Heart? Like All Heart is just like slightly pinker. Tint is a little more brown, I would say. They're both very pretty and they kind of look similar on the lips, I think, but I like them. They're so good. I'm gonna keep this one as well. So I started with five lip oils and I am keeping all five, which I'm not surprised by just because I already own so little of them. I know I already like the ones I have, but I do wanna add more to my collection and try some other brands. All right, that was about 20 products I tried on my lips today. I will come back another day and we'll swatch more lip shades. Hello, it is now day two of me trying out all my lip products. Today, I wanna do my lip liners. Now this one I'm pretty nervous to do. I don't, nervous isn't the right word. I am honestly just kind of like dreading going through these because I feel like this one's gonna be really tricky because they're all pretty much the same exact color. Like I love a good pinky brown nude lip liner. And I do really think I can narrow this down because you guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude and the Natasha Denona I need a nude in Natasha. Um, like those are like my two go-tos. And I just really don't feel like I need, how many lip liners did I have? Let me go back to my makeup inventory video. 19. I do not need 19 lip liners of the same exact freaking color. Someone in one of my recent comments was like, oh my gosh, I go through lip liners so fast. And I'm like, I definitely don't. So I would love to narrow down this number. 
and let's see what we can do. And the thing with lip liners, I normally just use lip liners to like physically line my lips. I normally don't fill them in, but I feel like in this case where I need to see the color more, I might fill them in, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. So I'm not gonna swatch my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and my Natasha lip liner because I already love these. I know I'm gonna keep them. This one's in my project pan. I will do a little hand swatch though, just to show you. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. This is my Natasha Denona Natasha. Very similar color. It's gonna be a trend for this part of the video. Honestly, we're gonna see the same as that color like 20 times, so get ready. Another one I know I really like and that is kind of newer to my collection is the Makeup by Mario one. What is the shade called? Smoky Pink. I got this in the little lip kit with the Erin lipsticks. So I'm actually not gonna put this one on my lips either just because it is newer and I know I already love it. So there's that one. That's already going in the key pile. I know it, I love it. Just looking at these, I know this Urban Decay Stark Naked is so, so old. I honestly think I got this lip liner in gratis when I worked at Ulta. This is old in my collection. I feel like I need to swatch this on the other hand um, because I honestly don't really wanna put this on my lips, but it is a beautiful color, but Honestly, I just think this needs to go in the garbage. It is so, so old, like minimum five years old. So I'm not gonna put this one on my lips. Are we starting off strong here? I, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna actually put some on my lips. Don't worry, I'm gonna break this up by brand. So let's start with About Face. Are you serious? Are these all a different color? Let me just double check this first. We have Cradled, Smoking Room, Pink in the Morning. Oh, I have two pink in the mornings. So let me see if either of these are like never been opened before. God damn it, I like swatched both of these. So I'm definitely gonna give one of these away to a friend because I do not need two of the exact same lip liners. So let's try the one I just dropped. The shade is called Pink in the Morning. Again, it's by About Face. And I think for my lip liners, I like them to be, I think a little bit deeper than my natural lip color. And I naturally have pretty like pigmented lips. And this is really pink looking. I'm just gonna like sloppily fill it in just to get a idea of the color. I actually do kind of like this all over my lips. Let's put it in the key for now. Let's go to the next about face one. This one is in the shade Baby Be Good. This looks really pretty. These all look pretty to me because they're all like the same color. I think at the end I might like swatch all these on my arm together to really see how similar they are to one another. I really like this color. I like it more than that pink in the morning one. It's just like slightly more brown than that pink in the morning shade, but I really like this color, keeping this one for sure. This next one is called Smoking Room, and I think I have used this one before. So this one is slightly deeper than that last one I just put on. It's pretty brown all over the lips, but like I said, I don't, I'm only doing this to see the color to put it all over my lips like this, but I think it's good to have kind of a deeper brown liner. Yeah, I think I like the deeper kind of brown shade. I think it's a good one to have in my collection. Okay, the last about face one I have is called Cradled. Does this look exactly like my lip color? It's pretty dang close. It's like maybe like a smidge more brown than my natural lip color. Okay, but I do really like this one. We'll keep. Okay, so I did end up keeping all of my about face ones. We'll be giving one to a friend since I had a duplicate. Okay, I do have two from Makeup Forever. It's the Artist Color Pencils. I honestly don't think I've really used these, but I know I kept them because I recognize the shade names and other people talking about them a lot. So, so I have Wherever Walnut and Anywhere Caffeine. I don't remember who talks about this, but is it like Jamie Page or someone like that talks about this lip liner all the time. So let's try Anywhere Caffeine. I do gotta say, formula-wise though, this one does feel a little bit stiffer compared to the About Face ones. This is a good color. Okay, keeping it for now. But again, we will revisit once we swatch all of them together. And the other one is called Wherever Walnut. These all look so dang similar. It's so hard to see a difference. Like I could see myself using all of these shades, but the thing is that like, I know I would never get through them all. They would all expire by the time I try to use them, you know what I mean? Okay, I really like this color too. It's a little more pinky than the caffeine one. Keeping for now. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have two Charlotte Tilbury pillow talks. I have a mini size and then a full size. I've definitely used both of these before. How did I even get two of these? I remember I got the mini one because I bought a lip set that had the little mini pillow talk, so I know that's where I got this one, but I don't remember 
how I got this one in my collection and how old it is. So I definitely don't need two Pillow Talks in my collection. I'm going to give the larger one to a friend just because I'd rather try to finish the mini one. I would like to have more mini products in my collection so I will keep the mini but let's try it on. This is just such a classic color though like I know I'm gonna keep it. And it's definitely pinker compared to all the other ones I've tried so far. See how pink this is going? Or a lot of the other ones are like more brown on me. So if I ever have like a pink lipstick or pink lip gloss, I would use this one. So I will keep. Okay, we're getting close to the kind of end, which makes me happy. And I'm excited to swatch all the shades together and like maybe narrow it down even more. Okay, next I have this lip liner from Motives Cosmetics. I don't even know if they're still a brand. They sent me this PR package like when I first started my channel, probably six, seven years ago, and it's in the shade Truffle, and I remember really liking it, and they sent me like another one, so I get this as a backup, but this is just so dang old. I honestly don't know if they're a brand anymore, and I'm just gonna toss this one because I know it is so, so old. I would just rather get used out of the like About Face ones, the Makeup Forever ones, the Mario ones, so I'd rather use those instead of this. Okay, then I have this NYX one in the color Natural. This is such a good drugstore lip liner. I have had this one for a long time as well, but let's just sharpen her up. I remember really liking this color. Oh, it's definitely like harder to draw on compared to the other ones I've put on today. Okay, just formula wise and by like how stiff this feels, and it could be because it is older, I will get rid of this one. It doesn't feel as creamy as the other ones I've tried today. Okay, I didn't realize I have one from House Laboratories. This is the shade Arc. I don't know if you can still get this one because they like discontinued half their brand. Oh, it's kind of purpley. I don't think I like this color and I don't ever really wear lipsticks that are deep and purple like this. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm feeling so good right now. I have two from MAC. I have Spice and Whirl. Like Whirl is like the most popular one. I need to sharpen this. This is somewhat older in my collection, but it's definitely not like six, seven years old like that Motives and NYX one was. So this is Whirl. Oh, I also just love the smell of their lip pencils. Like the wood smells amazing. But I do like this color. The formula still is pretty stiff compared to the other ones. So I'm actually gonna put this in the maybe pile just because if I'm gonna keep like eight or 10 lip liners, I want them to be a formula that I like to use. And this just feels kind of dry and I feel like I kind of really had to get it on there. Okay, then we have Spice. I'm gonna sharpen this one up. Yeah, see how I have to like press really hard to draw it on? It's almost like an orangey brown. I don't love this color. And again, it's just kind of like tugging on my lips. I'm not gonna keep spice. Okay, then the last lip liner I have is by About Face again. And I kept this one separate because it's a red. The shade is called Forever Flame. And, I, and I'm not gonna swatch this one on my lips because I already know I'm gonna keep it because it is the only red lip liner I own. I try to just keep one in my collection. I clearly like the formula. I don't wanna waste it on my lips, but I will swatch it in the end here really quick. Whew. Okay, I'm done swatching on my lips. I need some moisture on my lips and use my Sigma lip mask here. Let's do some swatches on my arm to see the shades that I'm keeping side by side and see how similar they really are. Okay, this is Smoking Room by About Face. I'm gonna try to draw something there. This is Cradled by About Face. Oh, those are actually pretty close. No, Smoking Room's definitely like a tiny bit more of maybe like a dusty pink color where Cradled is slightly more orangey brown. And then we have Pink in the Morning by About Face. Definitely pink. I think it's good to keep a pink lip liner in my collection. This is Baby Be Good by About Face. So just swatching all these, they definitely all look different and would kind of serve a different purpose in my collection. So I'm happy to keep these. This is Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. Definitely a stiffer formula than the About Face ones. Does this look similar to any of them? I feel like these two look kind of similar, but this one pulls a little more warm. Okay, this is Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. Okay, I actually feel like that looks pretty close to Smoking Room, doesn't it? They're just slightly different. What if I just put like a little smidgen of it right here? Those are pretty dang close. And just formula wise, I definitely prefer how the About Face ones felt. So just based off of the color here, I will declutter Wherever Walnut because I don't need two of almost the like exact same shade. This is the Makeup by Mario Smoking Pink. 
that I didn't swatch on my lips yet. Again, that's pretty close to that one as well. Slightly deeper. Let me add that right here. Dang, those are close. Apparently I really like those kind of colors, but I'm gonna keep this one just because it is a mini and it is newer in my collection. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Very pink. It is like kind of close to that, uh, was it pink in the morning shade, but it's a little bit deeper. I will keep it again because it is a mini. Here is that red one by About Face that I didn't swatch on my lips. Just like a really good bright red. I gotta say, I love how these feel when I swatch them. They're very, very creamy and they are matte formula, but they're not dry at all. And then just for funsies, let's swatch my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, which is like my all time favorite. I wanna see how this color compares to all the ones I'm keeping. So this is Iconic Nude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does it look like any of them? It does look kind of close to Cradled right here. And that's kind of good to know I have a similar shade because like I said, this is in my project pan. So once I eventually finish this and if I'm like, oh, I want that color again, I can just use my About Face Cradled and get a very, very similar color. So I'm good with keeping this, obviously. It is my favorite. And then this is my Natasha Denona. I need a nude in Natasha that I didn't swatch my lips either because I know I'm gonna keep it. Oh, so creamy. That glided on very beautifully. Does it look similar to any of these? Maybe this one? But that one I got rid of because that was that one. Okay, let's watch that MAC Whirl one because this one felt a little stiff to me. Mm -hmm -hmm. Doesn't that look close to this as well? It's pretty close. It's funny how similar all these four shades were. Again, based off of the formula of this and how it feels stiffer, I will declutter this one as well. Okay, I feel really good about that lip liner declutter. I learned that I really like the About Face lip liner formula today. Just swatching it on my lips and my arm compared to all the other ones. This one's probably my favorite formula. I also did really like the formula of that Natasha one too. Like that one just glided on my arm. Okay, I feel so good about this lip liner declutter. I am decluttering nine and I'm keeping 10. I feel very good about that. I feel like 10, it's still a lot and like the shades are still somewhat similar, but I feel like that's much more manageable. And lip liner is not really a product that like I buy a lot of. They don't like really draw my attention when I'm shopping online at Sephora or anything. So I really don't see myself adding any more to my collection anytime soon. And like I said, the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude is in my project pan. So I'm hoping to finish that one this year and will slowly dwindle down on these lip liners I'm keeping. Okay, that was a very successful lip liner declutter. Am I gonna do more? We'll see. Okay, I'm back really quick, so I'm trying to get these off my arm. And the About Face ones are hard to get off, so I'm just gonna add that to reasons why I like the About Face lip liners, because I am scrubbing this off my arm. Ugh. Okay. Good to know. Love about face lip liners, apparently. Okay, so I do have a little bit more time to go through some lip products. I'm gonna do my MAC lipsticks right now and just kind of have this in its own little category. So I own seven MAC lipsticks and all of these are at least two to three years old. So I actually talked about this in my declutter video and so many of you guys in the comments kind of do the same thing where we keep a box of makeup that's just kind of like makeup memories. Things we won't necessarily put on our face anymore because it's most likely expired, but products we wanna keep just for the memories, just because there was good vibes behind it. So, so I'm assuming that most of these are gonna go into that box in my closet. I'll probably swatch them on my arm, maybe not my lips, but let's see what we have. I haven't gone through these in a minute and I only have seven, but let's do this. Oh, we are starting off so strong right now. This is the Samantha Robindahl in MAC lipstick collab. Can you focus please? There we go. Uh, Mac did like a lip collab with a bunch of different influencers and she lives in Canada. So she was like the Canada influencer to do the lip collab. This is the most beautiful nude lip I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna put it on my lips just because I wanna remember how much I love it. Um, so the shade is called Samantha Robindahl. You obviously can't get it anymore. And it's actually not as beautiful as I remember. <laughs> It's, <laughs> why, why don't I like this on myself right now? It's a little too cool tone for me. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I used to love this and 
clearly my preferences have changed a bit, but I will keep this in my makeup memory box. This doesn't look good with this whole look right now. Anyways, the next one I have is Flesh Pot. Such a good classic light, light nude color. I don't think they make this anymore. This one smells a little off too. So again, this will go in my makeup memory box. I will swatch all of these on my arm at the end, but I just want to like quickly go through them with you. Cream Cup, the cream sheen. Oh my gosh. I think Jaclyn Hill was the one to like rave about this for so long. And I I clearly used like a decent amount. You see how like angled that applicator is? Oh, I want to put this on so bad. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. I just want to know what it feels like. It's so cool toned. Isn't it kind of funny how like your preferences will change? Like this is not something I would wear now. I'm going to immediately take this off of my lips though, but apparently I used to really like cool toned pink lipsticks. Now I'm kind of like more of a warm tone brown nude kind of girl. What else do we got? Oh my gosh, the Back to Mac program. What is the shade? Oh, can I see it? Blankety. <laughs> okay, this is why I want to keep the makeup memory box because this just like brought back a flood of memories. Remember you would bring back like six empty Mac containers to the Mac store and they'd give you a free lipstick. So they had to write like the Back to Mac on this because like you couldn't use this for your next empty anyways. So I got the shade Blankety when I did this. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on. Oh yeah. So this is a little less cool toned than the other ones. It's still pretty light though. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Okay, taking this off immediately. <laughs> I just remember MAC lipsticks being like the biggest thing in the world when I was first getting into makeup. Like that was my goal was to own MAC lipsticks. Now I would see people's collections with like 50 MAC lipsticks. What is this shade? Oh, this one's actually kind of newer in my collection. Not, mm, it's like two, three years old. This is the shade Influentially It. It's the Powder Kiss lipstick. So it kind of has like a matte velvety packaging. This is a light nude. I will pop this on though. This is like nude nude. Oh, this feels good. The powder kiss formula. Mmm. Whoo, that is nude. Okay, but why do I kind of like it though? It almost like blends into my face, but if I had like a deeper brown lip liner, I actually might put this back in my collection. I feel like this would be a good like lightening lipstick, so I'm actually gonna keep this one in my collection. They still make the powder kiss formula, right? That felt really good on my lips. Okay, next I have the shade Cherish. This one is somewhat mm, not as old as well. Kind of a deeper brownish color. I don't remember why I bought this one. I think I bought it on like Ulta's website when they first got MAC. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I like it. I'm gonna keep it. I think I like this color. Okay, I have one more MAC lipstick and this is the Viva Glam 2. Oh, that's what it is. The Viva Glam 2. I think this was my very first MAC lipstick. I think so. And I don't remember like why I bought this. No, wait, I think I remember. I think I got this with my prom makeup because I got my prom makeup done at MAC my senior year in high school. I had on this like bright ass orange coral dress and I had like the worst ombre hair ever. If I can find a picture, I will show you right now. And I think I had to like buy this to finish my makeup or something. <gasps> I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on. You can't stop me. This does not look good on me right now. <laughs> it's so funny how much I used to like cool tone lips. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's do a little swatchy swatch here. There is still some lip liner left on my arm. Again, they're hard to get off. Okay, starting with the Samantha Robin doll shade. Beautiful pink. This is Flesh Pot. Such a bright cool tone pink. This is Cream Cup. Oh my gosh, see, I would never wear these colors now. Now that I'm like seeing them swatched together, I'm like, yeah, I don't love these. This is Blankety. That's pretty, I like that one. And this is the Viva Glam 2, AKA my prom lipstick. So all five of these MAC lipsticks will go into my makeup memories box. Clearly you can see they brought back some memories for me and it makes me feel good about them. And then the other two, Influentially It and Cherish, will go back into my collection. So, I... so I'm keeping all of my MAC lipsticks. Yay! 
Hello, we are on day three of me trying on all of my lip products. I am determined to finish this video today. We have two categories left. We gotta do bullet lipsticks and lip glosses. And these are like two of my favorite categories, so I'm excited to do this today. So I did just do all of my MAC lipsticks the other day, and these are the only bullet lipsticks I have, which I feel like isn't much, so this should go by pretty quick. And I honestly see myself keeping most of these just because I already do have a very small curated amount of these. But I do have these two Rare Beauty balls that I'm nervous to try out because they're just kind of a weird product. So let's get started with those. I'm gonna take off what I have on now. It's just my lip gloss. Okay, so these two Rare Beauty Balms look so dang dark in the packaging, like even in the bullet, but they look so different on the lips. And I feel this way about both of them. So I never grab for them because I don't remember what they actually look like on. So let's put these on. So this first one is Thankful. This is the one I think I like. They're so creamy. They glide on beautifully. I like this keeping for sure. I really do like the formula. I also like lip products like these that like come off easily that they're like easy to reapply throughout the day. Okay, this one is appreciate. That is not good. That is like a cool tone muted purpley brown on me. I do not like this color. Yeah, not a fan of this. Will declutter this one. It's kind of giving like goth vibes right now, but that's just, it's that's not my vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, next let's do my Sigma Infinity Point lipsticks. They did just recently come out with some new shades, which is why I have so many right now. And we'll see which ones I keep. All right, so this is New Mod. And the nice thing about these, they're so pigmented and very easy to apply. <laughs> because of the point. I'm like trying to talk as I'm doing this. That's a pretty color. I think this one I will keep, especially since I don't think I kept the liquid lipstick version of this. because I do like the new mod shade a lot. That's just like a good, easy go-to color. Okay, I'm trying to go lightest from darkest here or else I'll mess it up. This one is Deja Vu. I have to remember I'm also really pale right now when I'm filming this. I think the other two days I filmed this, I was fake tan, so. I do have to keep that into consideration. I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now because I'm not like in love with it, but I do think this is something I would wear, but would I actually wear it? I don't know. This next one is Peach Tea, which I believe is one of the new shades. I think it's a pretty color, but I just don't think I see myself wearing this color. You know what I mean? I just like more nudie colors. Ugh, this is tricky, but I think my mom might like this color. I'm gonna declutter it. I'm doing it. Again, the point of this is for me to keep shades that I know I'll wear. And I wanna keep it if I know I'll wear it for sure. This one is Epiphany. Yeah, same kind of deal with the peach tea. Like this is just not a shade that I like to wear, this kind of peachy pink color. I prefer more of like a nude brown pink. Yeah, not a fan of this color on me. I will declutter this one. Okay, now we're getting into the deeper shades here. This one is Ecstasy. I already know I'm gonna keep this because like I've said before, I like to keep a good red. I do have that Makeup Forever liquid lipstick, but I wanna have a bullet red as well. I'm just gonna swatch this one on my hand and not like waste a lip application here, but this one's just a beautiful, like perfect red color. So I'm for sure keeping this. This one is Scarlet, which I don't think I've tried before. Like look at how fresh this bullet is. Again, not trying to be perfect, but that was a terrible application. Ooh. That's kind of pretty. It's kind of like a deeper, vampier red. Like it's obviously not as bright as this one. I kind of like this shade. That's pretty. So again, that's Scarlet. I think I will keep this. Like my initial reaction was like, ooh, I like that a lot actually. So keeping that. All right, next is Red Velvet. I don't think I've tried this one either. <laughs> I'm doing such a bad job at applying this. Hmm, it's kind of more of like a brown red. That's really pretty too. How does that compare to Scarlet. Okay, I'm gonna swatch these really quick. So that was Ecstasy. This one is Scarlet, the one I just had on. Pretty. Okay, and then this is Red Velvet, the one that's on my lips right now. Oh, it is kind of slightly more brown. I like this color too. This is really pretty and unique. I'm gonna keep this one. All right, we only have one more Sigma lipstick to go. I feel like we're already starting off pretty strong. This color is so pretty. Mmm, I like that. And then the last Sigma one I have is Temptation. Hmm, that's kind of pretty too. It's, it reminds me of like a My Lips But Better, but like a shade or two darker. That's pretty. I could see myself wearing this color more. 
so I will keep temptation all right that was all the Sigma lipsticks now I just have a couple like random ones in here and like I said I think I will keep probably most of these I'll probably do some arm swatches for them because I already know that I will keep and love them you know what I mean I have two from Natasha Denona this is Jennifer from the I need a nude collection I remember I bought this in store because I just wanted one of these so bad it's so peachy I'm just not a peachy lip person. I think I will get rid of this one. I did get rid of those other Sigma peachy lipsticks. Like I just don't like peachy colors really. But should I keep a peachy one just to have a peachy one? You know what I mean? See, that's my problem. I'm like, should I keep a shade just to have something like that in case there is a time where I want a peachy lipstick? Like that's what I struggle with. But the more that I'm wearing this, the more I like it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I kind of want to swatch these three together, the Peachy Natasha with the Peach Tea and Epiphany just to see what they would look like side by side because maybe I do want to keep a peachy color. Okay, this is the Natasha and Jennifer. This is Epiphany from Sigma. So that's just so pink. Yeah, I definitely don't love that one. Okay, and then Peach Tea. Yeah, I definitely prefer the Natasha one, so I think I will keep that. And the more that I'm like looking at it in my mirror in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, I kind of do like that. Maybe with like a more brown lip liner, I feel like this could be really pretty. So I will keep the shade Jennifer. And then the other one I have from her is from the My Dream collection. So this is the My Dream lipstick. Can you focus? There we are. I already know I'm going to keep this one, but let's put it on. Oh, that is just so pretty, keeping for sure. Okay, I do have three from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's start with the cute tiny one. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. Such a classic color. It's just such a good pinky shade. Like, you really can't go wrong with it. I'm not obsessed with it, but I'm gonna keep it because, like, it's Pillow Talk, you know? This one is called Bitch Perfect. I had this one for a while now. I don't even remember how I got this, but it looks a little, like, beat up in the packaging here. Let's try it. Does it look a little orange to you? Like really peachy? Hmm. I'm honestly not obsessed with it and I'm kind of happy with that because it is just so old in my collection. <sighs> I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I would just rather wear some of the other shades that I'm keeping, you know? Okay, so this last one I have is in the shade Night Crimson. It's such a deep color. And I bought this because I was doing some sponsored Instagram video with like Nordstrom Beauty and I needed to purchase like a dark vampy lipstick. So I did buy this one. Oh boy. I feel like this makes me look super pale. And I feel like kind of compared to the Sigma ones that I just tried on, I really preferred those shades more than this one like when I put those ones on I was like oh what a cool color and like this is a really pretty color but I'm not feeling some type of way about it so I will declutter this one all right we have four more bullet lipsticks I already know I'm gonna keep this one this is makeup by Mario Aaron this is probably my favorite lipstick I have right now I will put this one on because it's my favorite it has just like a slightly mauvey undertone to it I think he calls it like a smoky pink or something, but I just love this color and it looks good when I'm pale, when I'm tan. It's like definitely my favorite lipstick I own right now. Okay, next is this Fenty one that I bought just because they were doing this like cool new packaging kind of thing. What shade is this? Pose Queen. So it looks like that. I haven't really worn this one much, so we'll see how I feel about it. I think I do like this color. It has a little bit of brown in it. Kind of like a deeper peachy with brown, I guess. The formula is really nice too. I do like that. Okay, I will keep. See again, that's kind of the hard thing about this packaging because the lipstick lives like that. So when it's in its case, I don't know what shade this is, but I think this is really pretty. I just now thought maybe I should organize my lip drawer by like color because normally I have it organized by like type of lip product, but maybe by color would make more sense actually. Okay, then the last two I have talked about so much on my channel, specifically like last year. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot this happened. This is my Huda Beauty Buttercup. Um, I think I dropped it on the ground and the tip like broke off. So like this is literally all the product in here. So I don't think I'm gonna keep it because like that's just not fun to use. Can I swatch this? Uh, you guys know I love this lipstick. So maybe I'll have to repurchase a new one, but I'm definitely not gonna keep this like nub of a thing that I couldn't apply if I was out and about, you know? But I really did love this formula from Huda, so maybe I'll check out a different shade, but this is a good formula. I didn't really like her matte lipsticks. All right, then the last one I have is Urban Decay Oat Milk. This is the lightest lipstick I own. It's such a good shade just to like add a little pop on top of something else. 
I don't really wear it alone, but let's see what it looks like. <laughs> it's so light. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking light. I would never wear this on its own. Maybe with like a deeper lip liner, but it looks like my lips are just erasing into my face. So, so I use this lipstick as a mixer. I will be keeping it. So I did have one lipstick in my maybe pile and that was Sigma Deja Vu. I'm gonna swatch that on my hand again. Yeah, honestly, I really like the shades that I kept. So since this was a maybe, I'm not gonna keep this one. All right, that is it for bullet lipstick. So I got rid of seven for my collection, which I feel really good about. We got some Sigma, some Charlotte Tilbury that just didn't work for me anymore. And I am very excited about all the shades I'm keeping. All right, we are almost done. We are now at my favorite lip category, which is lip gloss. So I got them all sitting in this bin right here. Oh, already dropped one. I feel like this is gonna be a tricky category for me, but let's just dive in and get started. So I'm gonna start with all of my Fenty ones just because like for a minute I was kind of collecting these like when they first came out with the Universal gloss bomb shade was this one I was just obsessed with it and I just wanted all of them. So I kept buying all of them <laughs> I do have the shade fussy in my project pan, which I love This is like my favorite out of all of these in case you're wondering So I'm not gonna swatch this because I'm obviously keeping it and I'm trying to finish it up Okay, first I just want to talk about these two lighter clear lip glosses really quick I don't think I've ever reached for these. I'm just gonna swatch these two on my hand just because again, they're a clear lip gloss. This one is Glass Slipper. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna see anything. <sighs> like, I honestly don't think I've ever reached for this. I will always reach for some kind of like a pinky lip gloss. And then this one is Diamond Milk. So this one does have some kind of like shine in it, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can even tell. There's Glass Slipper on there somewhere. Diamond Milk is the one closest to my thumb there. Can you see a difference? Is there a difference? I mean, Diamond Milk definitely has some kind of shine to it, which, do I like that? I think I do. So I definitely don't think I need to keep both of these just because I rarely use either of them. So I think I'm gonna keep Diamond Milk just because I like the shimmer in it and I will declutter Glass Slipper. This kind of hurts me a little bit just because I love these lip products. I love the packaging. Like everything about this is just freaking adorable, right? Next, I want to talk about the Gloss Bomb Cream and the Gloss Bomb Heat. So I actually already own two of the Gloss Bomb Creams in the same exact shade Fenty Glow. One I keep in my purse downstairs because I realized I had a second one of it. But I don't know if I really love it. So this is the shade Fenty Glow. And I just... Like sometimes I just don't love this color on myself. I don't know what it is about this. And I would much rather reach for a gloss than a cream like this. So like I said, I already have one of my purse downstairs. So do I need to keep this one as well? I don't think so. I'm gonna get rid of it. Gosh, I'm so proud of myself for getting rid of Fenty lip products because I love them. Okay, then I have one of the Fenty Glow Heat. I think I've only used this like twice. And again, I just wanted to buy these because I wanted to like collect them all, you know? So let's try this one on. Oh, I can already smell the, I don't know. It smells like the Too Faced Lip Injections, that spicy. I mean, as I'm sitting here, I don't think I own many like plumping lip products. So I think I will keep this one. We'll see how much I really use it though. I can already feel the tingling on my lips. Oh my gosh. But really, I just need to stop buying the shade Fenty Glow and everything, because Fussy is my favorite shade. All right, speaking of Fenty Glow, let's pop on the lip gloss I have. You can see I've used this one a lot because again, I bought this like when it first, first came out. Even the cap is kind of like banged up quite a bit. I'm definitely keeping it. Like it's just such a classic in my opinion. Now I have the gloss in the shade of Sweet Mouth. So this one's kind of like a softer baby pink. And I do like this color a lot, so I will keep it. All right, now I have these three little mini ones. I think were like a holiday set one year. So one of these is in the shade Fussy, and I've decided I want to put this in my purse downstairs since I already know I love this color. I love this gloss. I want it downstairs in my purse. So that's going to go in like a different pile over here. Now these last two shades here, I don't think I've ever worn, so let's see what they look like. This is in the shade Cheeky. Look at how cute this is. I just love mini makeup products. They're adorable. I don't think I like it. I wanna swatch this on my hand really quick and see what it looks like here. I kind of sheared out. It's just like a very strong pink color. And I don't think I like it on myself. Kind of, kind of reminds me of like a popsicle lip color, but it's just not something I wear. But would I wear it like in the spring or summer? Like I'm filming this in January on a very gloomy day. Would I wear this on like a sunshine day? Probably. I also don't think I have many lip glosses in this color. 
I'm gonna keep it for now. I just talked myself back into it. I told you guys this Fenty lip gloss category was gonna be hard for me. Okay, the last Fenty gloss I have is the shade Hot Chocolate. Let's see what this looks like on its own. Hmm, well by itself, I don't think I like it, but would I like it on top of like one of those deeper Sigma lipsticks I kept? Maybe. I don't know, it's kind of growing on me. I'm gonna keep it. All right, so out of all of my Fenty lip glosses, I'm getting rid of two. One is moving downstairs into my purse. Feel pretty good about that. All right, let's move on to some more lip glosses. I have six from Sigma. I do really like their lip gloss formula, so I'm excited to see what I actually keep. So first is the shade Brilliance, and I have actually used this one a lot. It goes great just like on top of anything. And I like the little applicator. Kind of has like a really soft like champagne color to it. Like it's just a good lip gloss on top of like anything. I'm keeping this one for sure. This one I've worn a lot too. It's the shade Idyllic, I think is how you say it. But this one kind of has like a brown undertone to it, but it's not too brown. But like if you have a lipstick that's too pink and you pop this on top, it's just stunning. This one I've worn so many times, you can see I'm actually like losing some product here. This is Lilac Wine. So I think this applicator is actually, yeah. So when they first came out with lip glosses, they did this kind of brush applicator and it's kind of like splaying at the sides. And just because of that, it's really annoying to put on. That's just like not fun to put on and these like little bristles are like poking me. So I'm actually gonna declutter this one, but I actually might pick up one with the new doe foot applicator. Cause this is just like a perfect pink lip gloss, but I hate that applicator, especially that it's kind of like splayed out now. Okay, so these last three I have, I don't think I've used very often. So uh, this one's a bad applicator too. So this is Secret Garden. I think I'm just gonna declutter it now because like I said, I don't like that applicator at all. Oop, same deal. What is this color? Oh, this is Corde Rosa. It's like really like coppery though. I don't even think I would like that. And again, bad applicator. So this one is dazzling. These have like so much color in them, but again, I'm not keeping it because of the applicator. All right, so that is four Sigma lip glosses. I am not keeping just because of the applicator. Like it literally sucks getting rid of two Fenty ones. I feel good about that. All right, we only have like a handful of lip products to go. We are almost done like with everything. I'm so bummed. So I have some of these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I already know I'm gonna keep all of these because I've recently bought these myself. I honestly am obsessed with these. I'm just gonna swatch these on my hand and show you them just to save my lips a little bit. And I've definitely worn these in my videos before. I know that. I'm gonna do like pretty heavy swatches too so you can really see these shades. Okay, so this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Peachy Beige. And then this is the same formula, but in white peach. So it's a little bit more pink than this one, but they're both like that little plumping, really, really juicy formula. This one is the Maracuja Juicy Lip in Rose. So there's no plumping in this one, but just such a beautiful pink color. And this last one is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream in Soft Rose. So these are both kind of a rose color. I love all of these so, so much. Honestly, the rest of these lip products I am keeping because I know I love them. Simple as that. I do have two lip glosses from Tower 28. I'll put these ones on my lips because they're gorgeous. This is Pistachio. This one I just bought like two months ago, maybe. I love this formula too. Like it's just so creamy. Mm, love that color. This one is the shade Cashew. This was the first one that I had from Tower 28. Again, the formula is just like so juicy and slippery. Like, it's like a slip and slide on my lips. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I said it, but I'm obviously keeping those Tower 28 ones. Next, I have the Natasha Denona My Dream Lip Gloss. This one's kind of like a cool toned color, but it's really pretty, especially paired with like the matching lipstick and the lip liner. I love this on top of other lipsticks. I've worn it many, many times. All right, then the very last lip product I have is the Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Cherry Vanilla. I actually have two of these and this one I'm getting pretty low on. This product I wear every single time I post any kind of short or reel and you see me like doing my eyeshadow and my lips look nice and juicy and plump and everyone's like, what are you wearing? It's this lip product. Like it is a little plumping, but not a painful plumping, like just a little bit. Like it's nothing like that Fenty Heat or like a Too Faced lip injection. So I just wear this product by itself all the time, but look at just how like juicy my lips look. 
I love it. I do also own two Sigma lip masks, but I already know that I'm keeping these because I wear them as a lip mask or like as I'm doing my makeup, I pop these on first. All right, that is it for all of my lip glosses. So I only got rid of four of those Sigma ones and two of the Fenty ones, but I feel good about that because all the other lip glosses I'm keeping, I know that I wear. Most, except like the little baby Fenty ones. I'm still new to those, but everything else I know I love. Guys, we did it. We went through every single lipstick that I own and I'm getting rid of 31 lip products. So all the ones I'm decluttering are gonna live in this bin for a little bit. And what I do with this is this bin actually lives right behind me. So in some instance, if there is a lip product that was in here, I will pull it out and probably bring it back into my collection. I really don't think that'll happen, but, but I will keep these products for like a couple months or so, or if I have like any friends come over, my family that wants a lipstick that I can give them, they can go from this bin. I am so happy that I did this video and went through my lip collection. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I hope you enjoyed watching this and watching me try on everything I own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.